Okay, folks, so today we're going to look at Void Linux, and a Void Linux is a self made distribution, so it's not built on anything else. And essentially, it is a really released distro as well and makes use of the XBPS Ignator Package Manager. And of course, it also uses C Lab for diversity, so it becomes invisible, junior Nubic implementations and of course as already mentioned in this is not a fork so what i've done is if you go to the download page you'll find you can get x64 and you can get it on arm uh you know capital platforms here but uh what i've done is i've come ahead and downloaded in my image of uh Libic c so if you can choose this normal environment and you're not concerned about some of your uh, additional C plus uh, where it's used to diversity. I suggest trying to use Glibrick here. If you're going to use Mozilla, I'll uh, say you'll have a specific reason to do it. You're not sure? Yes. Uh, so, okay, what we're going to do now, of course, is uh, get this thing installed. So let's stop with that. Okay, so here we go. So, what we can do is we can then first log in as our uh, root. So that password is void Linux. And let's uh, start with the installer. So we'll do void dash store and hit enter. Okay. Wait from scratch. With this OK. I'm going to start with keyboard now. QS. Keyboard network. We do want to use the HCMP, so we're going to select yes. Set the source for installation. Uh, package system ISO image. Uh, base system only. Download from a social repo. For now, we hit key press V. Cap mirror. We're going to use XPS mirror. And our mirror, we can. I'm going to choose it for North America. Now I'll just shoot this cap for that. Okay, that's hard. House name. Void Linux. The color. And just says America C2 for 8. Hit enter. Time zone. For each password. So just give this as from too much password. Yes, it counts. Gosh, I just play in my case, gosh, and just trying the password. Okay, so a one person be part of wheels so they have pseudo access, audio, video. Uh, these defaults are pretty sync here, so that's perfect. It's so, okay. Uh, select just to install boot loader. Okay, we want to put right on my desk there. We have to not whatever. Yes, partition disk. Yes, so I'm going to use that disk. Uh, CF disk. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to do a normal dust layout for this example. So I'm going to make this partition size 76 gigs primary and a free space here. Okay, so this uh, I'm going to do new for the free space, nine gigs, also primary. So this and then I go back to the first option here for the main disk and we're going to make it bootable. Right. And we're going to write it. Do we show you one trying to flash it just to the disk? Yes, we can. It's been written, so let's quit. And now we can to do the file system to mount points. So give that a few seconds after selecting it. So first partition with the edit is the root pass for partition SDA. So we're going to choose the XT4. And I'm going to make it this one mount point, such as root. Okay, to watch painted, yes, I do. Okay, now my back on this time. Uh, let's now choose the uh, 
swap partition. So I can just select what and I'm just going to do my next swap. Create it, yes. Okay, now we can say done. And if done, the partitions, file systems without having to send store. And we're going to say yes and let it install. Okay, do we want to put the system? I'm going to say yes. And let it restart. Okay, now that it's installed, it's uh, booting up and using kernel 6.3. And there you go, so let's log in. And here you go, the system is up and running. We have a basic installation of the OS running. So we have a basic installation of Void Linux up and running. And of course, this is uh, the first step. And of course, from this point onwards, you can go and create an uh, install ongoing. What I'm going to do is say thank you for watching. Thank you.